That's right, guys. There is a new AI in town and it's called Grok. Three, Elon and his team had an event to launch it. It was a little bit weird, to be honest, to watch it, but I did watch it. And then I got access to it by buying the Premium Plus subscription, so you don't have to, at least not yet, before you know, is it any good for creating trading strategies, right? That's what we're all about on this channel, creating, testing, and automating trading strategies. And so I used Grok3 because they said it's awesome in coding. So I said, okay, cool, then code me a trading strategy. And as you know, on this channel, I have a test suit, okay? I am going at this very strategically. Check this out. We have easy difficulty, medium and hard difficulty strategies to create. On top of that, you're getting all the prompts that I used and also the code that they created in all of these AIs, right? So I will explain all of that in the video, so make sure to stick around. But if you go here, you find the exact prompt and you find all the code that has been produced by all of these AIs. I use the same questions on all of the AIs that we have already tested. We have tested O1, we have tested Claude, we have tested Gemini, we have tested DeepSeek, which the video got over 800,000 views very quickly, which is madness, all right? And so I'm gonna continue on this path to analyze AIs to figure out if they're any good for creating trading strategies in PineScript. The results are in this video and they are quite interesting. And at the end of the video, I'm going to explain to you which one I would use from all of these AIs to create trading strategies right now, especially also when thinking about costs. All right. So which AI is the best that is free and which AI is the best that costs money? right? I will tell you all of that in this video. And what you see here behind me is my new home in Dubai. I moved to Dubai. I got sick immediately. So that's why I didn't do a video in like two weeks or so. I don't even know how long because I was just lying in bed. All right. And at the end of the video, I will give you a quick tour with my phone around the apartment to show you what I have and where I will be creating more videos for you guys. And as always, this is not financial advice. Crypto is risky. You can lose all of your money. But that is why you subscribe to this channel you watch the freaking algo trading playlist, which is absolute game changer. I will link it down below and up there everywhere so you don't miss it. Because listen, if you don't watch this playlist, which is a free course on how to do algo trading properly and how to create strategies, automate strategies, then huh? I don't know what you're doing. Nobody can help you, okay? Watch this freaking playlist. It's fully free. It's going to change your life forever. And if you have any kind of questions, you want to talk about this topic more, then just join the Telegram we have a link down below in the video description. We have five admins there, including me, and we're helping people all around the clock, all over the world. We have people from all the time zones, right? And we answer all of your questions. We have a community of, I think, over 11,000 people. You will see, right? Just join, check it out, right? It's very friendly. No trading signals, only about trading strategies and how to apply them, okay? Because you are the master of your own money, okay? So you're not gonna wait for other people to give you trading signals. Instead, you're gonna have trading strategies and they give you trading signals, right? You're fully independent and this is how to make money. Okay, guys, now massage the like button. I need a good massage and subscribe to this channel and let's get started. All right, guys, now let's check in detail if Grok3 is any good for creating trading strategies. As you can see, we have the results behind me here for the easy, medium, and so on category. They are still hidden, right? So we can go through them one by one, and I will explain to you exactly how I created them so you can do exactly the same, all right? So Grok results are here for the easy category where we give the AI a indicator, and we wanted to create a strategy from it, which is very important, as you know, from my other videos, so check it out. And then we have the medium difficulty where we have an existing strategy and we want to add an indicator to it to make it better, often to avoid stupid trading, right? So adding another indicator to avoid certain situations in the chart. And then we also have the hard category where we basically say, take this and that indicator and just make a strategy, but we don't give it the code, right? We want it to figure it out itself, which is very, very hard. And because it's so hard, I have two different versions of this. One version where I give it the least information possible. And then the second version where I give it a bit more information about what I want it to do, but still, I don't give it any code, just very little information and just let it work. And so at some point, the strategists will be able to create very good strategies here, but it's not there, right? It's not there yet, but let's see, maybe Grok can do it. Surprise, surprise, maybe Grok can do it. And so we're gonna go top down and we're gonna create these results together, right? So you see exactly how it works, okay? So first of all, how do you get to Grok and where is it, which version to use, right? So you go to grok.com, okay? And grok.com, you have to log in 
with your account. I'm here logged in with my account that I, I bought this Premium Plus subscription, which you need in Twitter so that you can have access to this. I think they will give access to, you know, premium people as well, but not yet. And I wanted to have access as fast as possible. The problem is though, it's a bit expensive. It costs about 40 bucks a month. Sorry for the AED here. I'm in Dubai. And even though I'm in VPN in the US, it shows me this currency, but just imagine 40 bucks a month, right? So it's not the cheapest AI, right? And you know that with DeepSeek R1, you don't pay anything and the results are pretty good. But the question is, is Grok3 so much better that it actually pays off to pay this money per month. And actually you don't have to pay it per month forever because you create a strategy and then you can stop paying it, right? So let's see, right? If the results are good enough to justify the money that you pay for this. All right, let's get started with the easy difficulty prompt and let it create a strategy from an indicator, okay? Is it possible? It should be possible because the other AIs all manage to do that. So make sure, first of all, that you're on grok.com Make sure you have Grok3 activated, right? Obviously, and make sure, please, that you're using the think mode because I did the mistake to use this without the think mode. Well, the mistake, the button wasn't there, okay? When I got access to this, there was no think mode, but now it's there. And without the think mode is horrific, okay? It's not good at all. And then the next thing you do is you open up this Google document. The link is down below, okay? It contains all of the prompts, like I said, and that's what you're gonna need. So take the easy prompt where you are converting an indicator to a strategy. Obviously, if you're smart, you can convert any indicator, but this is an example. So first of all, run the example so that you get a good result, and then you can basically experiment with this. So everything that is red, red is basically the code of the indicator that you wanted to convert to a strategy. You can replace it with your own stuff, right? So in this case, we're converting the Bollinger Band indicator into a Bollinger Band strategy, okay? Of course, I have to tell it when to buy and when to sell and everything because it's not that smart, right? But it's actually doing the coding. So let's copy all of this, right? Copy the whole prompt and go to Grok, think mode on, right? and paste it and now got <laughs> message limit reached okay that is not cool the thing is obviously i tested a lot of this stuff before making the video so i already have the code um but i cannot show you live what it's doing because yeah this is just happening while i'm recording the video which is not great and also by the way elon okay i'm paying for this shit okay and you're limiting my thing like what is happening mate okay anyway yeah so sorry i cannot show you live what it's actually doing but you can see here i already had a lot of chats with it and somewhere here was the bollinger band strategy and i gave him the whole prompt right and then he created me the code and i copied the whole code right so usually you go here you copy the code right and in this case, I cannot copy this because I'm not sure if this is the one that actually was with the think mode or without, I'm not sure. So what I will do instead, I will just copy the resulting code from here, which you can do the same, right? You take the code and this is the code that the AI gives you usually. And you go to trading view, okay? You click on Pine Script Editor, you click the small arrow, you click create new, create strategy, and you delete everything that is there and paste the code as it is, okay? As it is, save it. Okay, just save it. It gives you some name. Change the name if you like. Click save, okay? And once it's saved, click on add to chart, right? And once you have added it to chart, then you see the result that you should be seeing. And this is exactly the result that I was expecting. Now, this is an okay result. And the reason why is, and let me show you, let me remove this because I already prepared a lot of stuff for you. So you can see here, right? We have ChatGPT with the easy prompt. It creates this result. Okay, with basically 1,800% profit with 49, 50% drawdown. Okay, fine, right? Since 2018, you can see the elements or the inputs here that it's using for, you know, running the strategy. Then you can turn on the DeepSeek R1 easy prompt. And also it has exactly the same result, which is normal because I just told him, take this indicator, make a strategy, buy when this, sell when that, right? So it has to be the same result. And then this is the Grok one, okay? The Grok one, is pretty much the same, right? So I have three strategies. And by the way, I took these three AIs because the other AIs are basically not worth looking at right now, in my opinion. So O1 is still massive, right? And O3 and everything is coming and all this stuff, I will test it out. But 
Claude is not the best because yes, sure, it can do the easy stuff, but it's it does very very poorly with the hard ones. And then Horizon is anyway just using other AIs, so it's not really worth looking at. Gemini was horrific anyway because it had a lot of coding issues. And then basically what you're left with is to make a decision between O1, DeepSeek, and Grok, all right? To be honest, right now, that's my opinion, okay? But let's see how well Grok is doing, all right? So that's why we have these three on the chart. And so far, so good, okay? It has basically the exact same result as the others because, well, it's easy, right? So it's profitable, it does the right thing, it has the same result, perfect. Let's go to the medium one. And I would now go here, I would create a new chat, I would make sure to have the think mode on, Grok3 and everything. I will go here to the medium prompt and copy the whole thing, right? It's a bit longer, right? Because now I'm giving it a strategy and an indicator to combine them together, okay? Copy this, put it here, click on let's go. But again, I'm not allowed, okay? It seems like I've used it too much. Sorry for that. I'm doing my research, okay? Like... I'm doing my research before I make a video for you guys so that you don't have to waste your time, right? So that is why I use all of my tokens. Okay, so in any case, that is why, that is why I put the whole code here that Grok gave me, okay? So check this out. We take this code, right? And we go, again, the same, it's all the same, right? You go here, you create a new strategy, PineScript editor, new strategy, right? You put the code here, you click save, all the same thing, okay? You click add to chart afterwards, but I already have all of that, right? Because let me hide the easy one and go to the medium one, right? The medium one has to also have pretty much the same result because I'm giving it a strategy with a specific code and I'm giving it an indicator to add to it and then I'm telling him how to use it, okay? Like it has to have the same result, right? Let's check. So we have ChatGPT01 with 2,400% profit, 14 percent max drawdown on Bitcoin since 2018 is actually very good to be honest. These are the inputs. All right. Now let's turn on the deep sig one. Well, same result. Let's turn on the grok one. Ta -da! <laughs> exact same result. Okay. So as you can see for the easy and medium one, all of the AIs will make it happen. Right. And that is why you don't need grok. Okay. When it comes to these easy and medium use cases, right? Because deep seek and also Grok and O1, they can all solve the problem, right? So let me reveal it here. So yes, it's easy, it's profitable. DeepSeek had a little bit of coding issues, but those were easy to fix, given that you don't pay anything for it, you know, like, so I think you should be using DeepSeek for creating easy and medium type of strategies. Meaning, if you have an indicator, you want to convert it to a strategy, DeepSeek, all right? Costs nothing, works fine. Then if you have an existing strategy and you want to add an indicator to it, DeepSeek also, right? Because it costs nothing, right? So now the question is, can Grok3 create the hardcore strategies where you give it little information, you, you basically let it think by itself as if it's a professional strategy creator. And so that is what really matters now. So let's go to the hard category. And here we have two types of strategies that it has to create. And of course, I've done that already. And so let's see how well that performs. And why that's so important is because in the O1 situation, I had to do a lot of trial and error to get to some code that works. So the code was okay at the end, and you will see, but it, it took a bit more time to get there, right? And then also for the for the hard version 2, it also took a couple of tries. It had coding issues and stuff like that, right? When it comes to DeepSeek, it also had some small coding issues, but it's free, right? So it's fine. And then... Uh, yeah, the strategy that it created was not the best. It was, I can zoom in and show you, but I will show you on the chart anyway. And now the question is, right, is Grok having zero coding issues and does it produce better results or at least good results, right? Because then you have less waste of time. So let's check it out. It's very interesting because here you will see, uh, first of all, let me show you the prompt, right? So I took the hard prompt version one, which is literally just this text, okay? It's basically saying, just take the Gaussian channel and add the stochastic RSI to it, right? And it should create the same strategy we had in the in the medium prompt, but because it's not that smart, it doesn't know Gaussian channel or most of the eyes don't know, it doesn't exactly come up with the same result. At some point, it will, and I will let you know on this channel, so make sure to subscribe, but it didn't, right? So if I take this, right, and I just copy it here into Grok, and again, it's not gonna work, right? Because this thing doesn't let me do anything. But even if, maybe I can find the last one that I put here. Maybe I find it. Yeah, this one, right? So here I gave it, I gave it just, where is it? I gave it just this, right? And it created the whole code here. So that is awesome. And so the code is to be found 
in the document, right? In the hard prompt, you find the full code. It's not a lot of code. Let's see how well it performed, okay? So on the chart, I have the hard prompt from ChatGPT, which made 835% profit. Well, it's not great, but that's why I'm making this hard test, right? Because I wanna make sure at some point in the future, some AI will be able to create this strategy and then holy moly, right? Then the game is much harder than it is today. But until then, let's see. So 800% profit with 40% drawdown, meh, right? So even the medium strategy is better. Like you can take this one and you'll be way better off. By the way, the code is in the document. Okay, the deep seek version of the same prompt is, well, pretty bad because it has only 48% profit with 18% drawdown. So yeah, it's better from the drawdown point of view, but I mean, it's nothing like in seven years, you make this profit, it's pretty, pretty, pretty underwhelming, all right? Okay, now what has Grok produced? Let's check it out right now. Grok has made 259% profit with 60% drawdown, which is, well, I hate it, right? Because 50% is my maximum, especially on such a blue chip asset as Bitcoin. But okay, like it's the, second best result if you actually go through the results because I did that already. And here you can see, if I reveal this, it's profitable, no coding issues whatsoever. Second best result from the profit and loss, basically risk reward point of view, okay? So you have the best one is 01, which made 800% profit creating this strategy by itself. And you have Grok with just 259% profit, which of course is horrific strategy for seven years of data, but at least it didn't have coding issues, but does it pay off to pay for this thing, right? If it produces less profitable result, right? And it costs more money. Well, of course not, okay? So far, Grok is nice, but it's not really useful for our use case creating trading strategies. We have one more strategy to go through, so let's do that now. We have the heart version two prompt, okay? Where I give it a bit more information, when to buy, when to sell, so that it has a higher chance of actually making it. So again, the Grok code is here. I have it in the chat. Let me show you right now. So first of all, let's start with the GPT one, 300% profit, 43% max drawdown. Meh, okay, whatever, right? Then DeepSeek, 9% profit, screw that, pretty bad. And then we have Grok with 89% profit, again, like what the hell, it's pretty useless. And so the problem that I have here is that O1 is still the best one when it comes to creating strategies from thin air, like just a little bit of prompt, a little bit of information, and it costs 25 bu or 20 bucks a month, so it's definitely cheaper than Grok3. And that is why I don't really see the point in paying for Grok when I can just use O1 or O3 even coming up, right? And I pay less money, and I have better results. So that's awesome, right? So I still stand by my classification that basically you have the best case scenario is 01, even if sometimes you need to tell him to fix coding issues, but it's still better at the end, and that's what matters, right? Then you have Grok in the second place, right? So you have 01 is number one, Grok is number two, and DeepSeek is number three because it cannot handle these situations when you give it little information, but it's free, right? So if you want free, DeepSeek is still the best choice. But when it comes to the best performance, strategy performance, then O1 from ChatGPT is still the best one or even higher models if you have access to that, right? So this is my conclusion. Very quick video, first video after my sickness. I hope it's okay. And I hope I was able to convey my opinion on Grok. I think Grok is cool and everything, but I don't think it makes sense for our specific trading strategy use case. And I will keep you up to date which AI is the best. Again, make sure to join the Telegram group down below so we can continue chatting about this topic. And the next thing that you have to do is to massage the like button. I need a good massage to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. And once you have a trading strategy, then you want to automate it. And that is why this is the next video you should watch. Please.